We're Heather and Yain, and we are converting Lottie, this moving van, into a tiny home on wheels. Although we both fancy ourselves quite handy, we've never taken on a project of this size before. Oh no. So we're doing a lot of learning through trial and error. But this makes the successes <laughs> super sweet when they come. Welcome to part one of our wiring video. For a walk this morning with the dogs, new walk. Up to the top of Garway Hill, or as Heather likes to call it, Garway. Then we're going to get to some more van building, so we'll see you when we get to the top. And we're at the top, so let me show you. A little bit after sunrise, but it is still an absolute ooh, corker up here. Take you on a lap at the top. There's the trig point. There's Yayan. <laughs> I'm gonna go find a body of water that hopefully has some sunlight on it and go for a nice icy dip. Cooper! Ah, Cooper! Brandy! And she's off. Yayan! Coming! <laughs> He's on top of the world! And we have arrived at Skenthrift Castle. The little river that goes by here for a little swim. And that is <laughs> ice. Very, very cold. Ah, these are running. I want to just accept the cold water, but I also know the cold water is going to be cold. Yeah. I don't accept the cold water, I just get it back there. Oh, you're taking my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever. I feel so free. I'm a sweet baby. Ah. Ooh. Come on, darling. What do you got? Ah. Cause you put all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever. I feel so free. I'm a sweet baby. Be honest, but that is us done. Feel cold, but feel good. What do you think, yeah? Yeah, I dived in twice. Um, and now, to the van. Ah, and we're back. Now, today's job. Whoop. Bing, bing, bing. Gonna get my beautiful roof in. First though, we need to do back there. We're gonna put the ply up on the top half and then we need to go to the shop and buy from something at the bottom. But as long as it is, it is in on top, we can get the roof up. Um, yeah, very exciting. We're about to cut it right now. It's a tight squeeze, but it makes these seams really nice up along the walls there. Point. Nuts. <laughs> if anyone knows where that reference is from, feel free to comment below. Okay, my beautiful ceiling has a few steps. You've already seen us do step one, which was stain the wood. Step two. And run the beams sideways. Yeah. Beams. Is put this up as the background, so it's just black fabric. And um, so I'm going to put this staple this up to the beams now, and then we'll run. The nice stained wood over the top of it um, and then we'll put our light fixings in and then test it on the 12 volt battery and see if it works 
What's the matter? You stuck? Yeah. You stuck right there? Door, please. Oh. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Butler. What'd you call me? <laughs> no, don't do it. What did you do to me earlier? Come on, let me get. <laughs> don't do it. Hey, I'll tell them no. No, no, no. <laughs> no. no. Brady. We're gonna get Mama's butt. <laughs> Good dude. Good dude. She's not fast enough. <laughs> what the heck? Come on, get up there. No, don't hit me. She's lucky. Hi, everybody. So, this is Heather's amazing roof. Um, we've got lots of these pieces of wood and uh, we put them all up and it's going to take us about five days but it's going to look good. It's actually going a bit quicker than we thought. Um, spacer. And we're using these as spacers as well so it actually works pretty good. Hello peeps. We just started trying to fit our lights, and we stumbled upon an, uh, uh, stumbled upon a, something that we didn't have. So, uh, the wire strippers that we have don't go down as far, as small as the lights that we need to do. So we are off, oh, in the big truck, to Tom, Tom's garage, to get some wire strippers. But first, you might see more Tom's garage. Look at that! Wow, we. Yeah, wowzer indeed. That's a good sunset. B E A, beautiful. Oh, that's a good shot of big red. That would be her Tinder profile. Oh yeah. yeah <laughs> big red is in fact for sale. So if anyone's in the market for a little red adventure van, this is your gal. <laughs> Do you have any half-decent wire strippers that we could borrow? Yes. A selection. That's what I'm talking about. Got the goods. Wired up our first light to a switch right there. And now this is under here. Sent it up to um, our lithium battery. I'm about to see if it works. Oh no! <laughs> okay. No! <laughs> Nothing's happening. Okay, that's fine. So try putting um, the negative in. Two. We realised um, socket is actually. Whoa! 240. So we're going to have to get a different one of those. Okay, connect them up, you eye. Oh, you've done it! Oh, it's not working. Ooh. Yeah, I think I saw a glimmer. Yay! It's working! Woo woo woo! Hey, <laughs> light work! I had zero faith that that's gonna work. <laughs> Until it sparked. <laughs> I shit myself up. Um. We've been fed and watered, and we're about to do some more work on the ceiling. It's taking forever, but look at this. Can you see the glistening? I'm not sure, but you can definitely see that that's already freezing over. It's gonna be a cold night. Look at that, can you see the sparkling on there? A little bit. Anyway, we've got most of the main circuit 
wired up now. Ouchie, 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 hit my elbow. <laughs> oh, I'm injuring myself every time I go through a doorway at the moment. It's only that doorway, isn't it? Just this doorway. Um, but not, yeah. Not good for future Heather. Mm -mm. Test all these lights now, boss. Got all five of the main ones wired in now. So now we'll see if they all sing together. Can you off the strippers? Oh yes, of course you can. This kind of stripper though. Mm. No other kind of strippers. No. Sorry, Paul. Okay, just you. Just me. Now you might want to turn that off just for a minute. I'm just doing something. Okay, here we go. Big test. Come on, you light. Hey! One. one, two, three, four, five. You happy? Yeah, super happy. <laughs> <laughs> Very light. Nice. Yeah, nice good brightness. brightness. Yeah, Woo! That works. Turn off the lights. <laughs> <laughs> Did a thing. <laughs> Don't, uh, come on. That looks good. You gotta admit, that looks pretty fresh. It's not bad. We tried to sync these in initially, but we didn't have a router, we didn't have the tools. I think I showed you that. Well, we um, do, it's just not here. Yeah, they're at the other house. Um, But I'm a big fan. You're a big fan. And that's all that matters. I was gonna say, I've gotta, I've gotta be a big fan, people, so. <laughs> it's number one job in the husband description. Yeah, so. you can all make up your own mind, but I'm a big fan. 848 we've got a we've got a few more roof panels in us i believe so we'll down. show you the progress in the morning how much we get done tonight yeah we'll show you in the morning how much more uh roof we get done because, <laughs> uh, jokes will be on us if it's like one panel but hey. camera's gonna be dead see you tomorrow bye everybody good morning everybody it is absolutely freezing outside and it's pretty chilly in here too so i'm all layered up and I'm hoping to do some more of the ceiling. Now I'll just give you an update, like I said, on what we did last night. Um, so, we got those two lights in, that's the last thing we showed you, got a few more boards in, and then fitted this white frame around the fan. We hooked the fan up to the battery, made sure that was all working, um, etc, etc. So not a whole load extra done last night. Um, Yain is inside doing some really exciting stuff. Filing his self-assessment for his tax. So I'm going to try do some of the ceiling so low, uh, and if it doesn't work, I'll find another job to do while he's occupied with HMRC. Now, let's give this a go. Maybe clamp might work. I've got a clamp in here somewhere. Ooh, chill. Has he finished? Me. No. No. <laughs> he just needed a break from the caputa. Yeah. <laughs> Look how nice my roof is, guys. I love it. Be nice if you did some work. Have a laugh. Oh, right. Fire here. Keeps using the drill bit. My nice counter. He's gonna find himself sleeping out in the frost tonight. In here. Since I am just here, it'll be nice and warm. That's where he'll be sleeping. It'll be nice and warm in here. Toasty in the hat. Did you show the guys our fan working? No. Our fan works, guys. I did tell them it worked. And that lights. We'll show you the lights when we finish. With yeah. the switching wrong. Maybe into the wrong ports. We'll have another look. 
Okay, we'll check back in in a minute, folks. Okay, so we've now connected them to the two positive ones. You can see that. So second and third slot. Okay, that's them all on. Wait, don't touch the uh, switch yet, because I want to see. And this one's got full power now. Do you want to come over and try the switch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Don't move it. <coughs> Goose darn it. No noises. No. We got nothing. So that's it just breaking the positive circuit. And so maybe we need to wire both the negatives in from that? I think so. Let's give it a go. Two. Turn them off. Okay, this time, yeah, we're going to wire the negatives in and see if that works. That doesn't work. That's <laughs> get, get returned to Amazon and we'll just be getting a push button on off. Fuck yeah. the dimmer. Okay, we've put the two inputs and the two outputs in what we think are the correct places. We started on the second half of the roof. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, Bye, guys. Hello, peeps. Yain's got something cool to show you. It's my new hat. It's not his new hat. Um, firstly, do you like our lights? And secondly, pass me this. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. I'll oh, do it. I was going to turn it around. Okay. Are you ready? Lights on. Woohoo! Lights. Mood lighting. Dim. Now, no likey, no lighty. Wait, how oh, about bright? I like you. You have on light. Okay. Likey lots. Aww. No likey, no lighty. Uh, no lighty. Yeah, <laughs> it's got our little dimmer switch. We got her working finally. Let's see if it swaps. No, it doesn't swap mode. Um, but so because of where we put it in the circuit, it only works for this one switch, which is a little bit of a happy accident. At least that's what I'm calling it. Yeah. Um, because the whole reason we wanted the light switch here is because when we come in the door, we wanted this light to turn on. Well, so we wanted all of the lights to turn on. But, <laughs> but especially this one. <laughs> we're settling for that one. Uh, where uh, I should have organised my lights in a way that they came to here first. Should have organised the wiring so that it... Yeah, so they came to here first and then snaked its way back to... Um, here. Start there, end here. The wiring should have done that. Yeah. But instead it starts here and ends there. <laughs> so now where we've put that switch only breaks that circuit for that light <laughs> rather than all of them. So we, we yeah. So we're going to have another switch down here to turn all of them on and off. Pretty we're much. Coming up with solutions. Yeah, we'll make it work. <laughs> but now it's dinner time because yeah, we're two time. hungry, hungry hippos. Yeah. But the roof looks cool, everybody. Yeah, we're very happy with it. We're very happy. Very, very happy. Okay. Food All time. Right. It's icy, 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 icy. Oh, good morning. It is bloody freezing in here. I'm going to get my little seal skin gloves back on in a minute, but I left them in here overnight, so i tempted to go inside and put them on the radiator before I put them on my little hands. <sighs> we, um, still got a lot of work to do. Uh, I don't know if you can see my ceiling from where you are, but we've started the second half of it. And you wouldn't, well, I didn't think before I started that this was going to be a three-day job. This has turned into a three-day job and not just kind of like a little bit here, a little bit there, like three full days nearly. Um, so, uh... Yeah, I'm going to keep going, get this done, because I've got loads of other things to do, too. Including, but not limited to, the electrical system. Um, which is what I was meant to be doing this week, not putting up a damn ceiling. It is important because this is the main thing that's going to be holding our insulation up, and we needed to have the ceiling up before we went on and uh, Yarn's cycle run, cycle run, cycle run. So, I guess I'll keep going. Getting there very, very slowly. Child, I know you're hurt and you can't let go. It's not your fault, and you don't deserve all the bad in the hurt. It is much nicer and warmer now. I've been working away in here. Probably doesn't look like I've got a lot done because I was having to think. Um, so these fans and skylights, let me just show you around. 
usually come with these big white trims plastic stuff and sometimes it looks fine sometimes it doesn't so I actually thought the Max Air one worked okay but the one for the Dometic skylight we got was horrible big clunky thing um, with the fly screens and stuff on it so I've decided no we're not having that um, and I've made a little wooden trim instead the only thing that slightly bothers me is the space in between the wooden trim and the beam is not the same as the other spaces but I think you won't really notice that once I get the rest of these beams up so now I'm just going to do it in between this roof light and my Max Air fan for the beams it's a little bit harder to do this solo but we make it work I've got a clamp so I've got a clamp so it's basically um, my third hand Let's tip you there I wish the camera could answer me when I ask it. Can I, can I see? Oh, Lord. Yeah. You can see. Just hold on tight. It'll be alright. Remove the last clamp. We are complete. Finally! Let me see if I can get a good view for you. There she is. Would have been kind of cool now that I'm looking at it if I could have curved it around that front part as well, but that ain't happening. This is the little frame I made around our roof light instead of the big white plastic one. I personally think it looks quite nice. This was the alternative. Let me see if I can do this one-handed. Nah. I like an old wooden one. Okay. Uh, so we've got MPPT, DC to DC charger, control panel, Battery Bluetooth. Camera, which I'm going to do today. My battery isolator switch. Let's get started. Plan here is I'm using my wiring diagram to see what connects to what, and then I'm putting them, screwing them onto this board. Um, so they can all be friends and connect via wire. Yeah, this is just my um, volt fuse box that I'm attaching here. <laughs> Very muddy iron. Came back with two very muddy dogs. Yeah. And they all had a very nice day. So now he's on team plumbing. I'm on team Sparky. And we'll get this done. You are Sparky now, are you? <laughs> oh, yes, boss. So we've got 12 volt fuse box that runs pretty much into the negative bus bar. That'll run into our battery monitor and then into our batteries which are going to be here at the bottom battery 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 and virtual is going to be over here so runs into the batteries then goes back into our first 300 amp fuse up to the battery command switch into our positive bus bar and then from there it kind of forks off into loads of different places so first it comes through this first 40 amp fuse back to the 12 volt uh, fuse box. Next it goes to the 300 amp fuse and then it'll go down to our inverter which will be here. Next it goes through this 40 amp breaker to our smart solar charger controller MPPT. Uh, then it will go to this 100 amp fuse into our DC to DC chargers so that's off our 
carb adder or alternator back through this another 100 amp fuse and then on to the battery itself um, and that is pretty much it so it actually all lays out quite nice and simple now I've got to screw it down I will always be by your side So the wire I needed didn't quite get delivered in time to make this video, but if you check back in on Sunday, you'll get to see the finished product. See you then. my wrongs and make them better yeah you you're making me want to try forever i feel so free i'm a sweet baby